All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the front brakes on my 1979 Ford Bronco. If you guys have been following the channel, this has been my heart and soul project. Touched on every part of it. I know more than I wanted to know about it. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing the brakes today, just the fronts. I've already done the rear in the past, so if you guys wanna see that video, I'll put a little tab up here for you guys. Check out the whole rear end disassembly and stuff. And, painted it all mint back there. So we're moving to the front. I started the tear down a long time ago on that one. I just got the caliper off. That's literally it. I guess you could say tear down, but not much. Caliper's off, bolt broke in the, the caliper mount. So we got new calipers, new pads. It's actually a new master cylinder there. Uh, new rotors and I need dust shields still. That's the only thing that I can't seem to find for a good price. Both dust shields are shot but we're just gonna strip it down and we'll have to order those dust shields ASAP. So the bearing seems to be really good. When I had the wheel off, it just kept spinning and spinning. So I'm not too worried about that, but you see this bolt snapped in there, which is a pain in the butt. Hopefully we can get some vice grips on that, start soaking that. But we gotta get this off and I believe you gotta go through here. I've never done this before. And these look, Two of them look like they're not even there, or are they just stripped? No, that's just filled with <laughs> silicone. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Super quick jump here, but I pulled everything apart. I thought there's no point in showing you this side because even I didn't know what I was doing. So we got it completely apart. I'm gonna be pressing in new ball joints. I figure I might as well while I'm here. We're gonna clean this thing up to mint. I haven't showed you guys this yet, but this, all dirt all dirt not rust but all dirt all right so peep down there <laughs> oh man it's just let's see if you can focus look at that all dirt that's a pile of dirt it's just ridiculous all the way to the center it's just caked so i'm gonna have to get like a brush in there and kind of clean it all out I'm gonna open up the middle there and blow all of it out this side. But yeah, it's just like, look, just disgusting amounts. Also be gonna be getting all new links up front. Uh, we're gonna get a new one of these, this is shot. It doesn't even, oh, that's, you can't, there's a, like a, it feels like you're shifting gears right there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Dunzo. Um, we're gonna get a new one of those, new tie rod on the other end. But the rest of this, you might as well do it as one piece, like all this stuff, like you might as well get everything while it's apart. We're gonna go down to the farm and use the hydraulic one down there, hopefully. But yeah, we're gonna press those out and then we'll be back. All right, we're actually pushing this one out right now. We already got the top one out. You can see we're going through to the bottom one. like that it's out both of them let's check them out there you go super simple see that there uh, that's the one that's on the top and so that's we're gonna go back up to the garage and we're gonna clean them up and then come back down and install the new ones alrighty guys so we got both ball joints in it was super simple with the press down at the farm um, it's all clipped in we just got a pair of grease uh, things on and I'll give it a paint before I throw it back on but now I can start reassembling after I get all the dirt out of the axle so progress has been good we just took the diff off we drained the fluid the whole carrier there we're gonna take it all out because I need to get that dirt out of there now we're gonna be starting on the other side here so I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to get this done so first thing obviously let's pop this wheel off spray up everything just some PB blaster because my brake caliper bolt broke last time into the thing. So I, I was lucky enough I got it out. All the rest of the stuff, you might as well just spray a quick little coat. Important one is, where is it? Oh, are you serious? So this one's already been broken and he put wire on the caliper so it didn't come off. That seems pretty safe guys, right? Pretty safe, if you ask me. 
Basically, in order to get this off, you have to take off your, your hub assembly. It's a little bit tricky. You need a big, a big socket. So I'll show you guys. I'm gonna tear it all apart. We're gonna start with the caliper first. All right, so once you get that bolt off, you can see this piece slides out. So you just put like a little screwdriver there and you're just gonna go ahead, tap it right out the end and that'll give this the room it needs to move. Now what you're gonna do is just pry, pry this guy out um, any way you see fitting. I'm not keeping calipers, pads or rotors or anything. <laughs> so to me, damage doesn't matter, but if you're trying to keep the caliper, just make sure you don't damage the boot there and the rotor, but my rotors are so warped, it's insane. Like that's like a big indent. As you can see, I got it off. I'm also changing the lines and stuff. So I don't care about those either. So I just have it tucked up on the arm here. Pads were actually good. Obviously they're scored because the rotor is, but the hardest part I believe, in my opinion about this whole assembly is this part right here. So you got to take this off and there's like so many different steps inside this to getting it off. It's not too bad. It's just, if you don't know, it's really confusing. So I already did the other side and we're going to hop into this one. So first thing you're gonna do is before anything gets wild, you're just gonna take off these Allen keys. So we got the first piece off. Now you can see a bunch of grease, bunch of stuff going on. Next thing I did was remove the little set screw there. Pop that off. Now what I'm doing is I got them all laid out. There's tons of parts. So what I'm gonna do is this is the, the very beginning and I'm gonna line them all the way up to the end so you know which way they go in how we did it and then when you just go to put it back together you just run it the other way little screw is out you can see it there now what that does is loosen this front piece up so this piece around here you can see there is a clip now you have to find where the clip meets it's like a snap ring like a massive one kind of run a little flathead around there you'll feel where it meets and then you got to pry it out and then this whole you'll get the little um, snap ring out and then you should, this all should come out. So there it is. We got that out. All right, you guys, so that whole assembly comes out as one big piece. As you can see, it's gone now. I got this little hook piece and you can kind of get in there, hook it and pull it forward. And it comes out as a massive piece. You can see there. And I got some broken stuff here. I'm not too sure, but this is metal. So that's not good. I've been picking away because there's a bunch of broken metal. A spring came out, I forgot about that. The other side was different. The spring came out right away. On this side, something's definitely wrong. You can see there's a little groove back there. Now you gotta have this certain socket and it's this guy right here, two and three eighths with four little prongs sticking off it. And that'll be perfect. Uh, you just gotta wiggle it around a little bit. Let's see if we can get it here, right there. Boom. You need your uh, half inch ratchet and you can just back it right out. And there's actually the snap ring here. I forgot about it. We got to pop that off. You can see the two tabs right in front there. So snap ring, that whole piece comes out. It should just slide right out. And then that piece is behind it. And then now we got another, I don't know if you guys can see back there, another uh, bolt with this guy we got to unscrew. So just pop it in there, twist it off. And that should be the last part. So that looks like the end of it. Now there's a bearing in there that should come out with the rotor. So we got that last bolt piece out. There you have it. So just like that, nice. There we go, guys. So that's how it's done. It's not too difficult. It is a, it is a process to say the least. Now to get the rotor out, I have new studs actually. So you just hammer these out, pop this out, switch the rotor, put it back in the new rotor and put your new ones in from the back. Let's get this axle. I'm gonna keep going on teardown. So this stuff's pretty simple. Uh, lube these up, break those loose, pop that spindle out. After that, the axle will come out, I believe. Get the brake sealed off. It is fully stripped, just like the other side. You can see all the pieces here. Pretty cool, pretty simple from there. All of my tie rod ends needed to be cut because they were all destroyed. They're all getting replaced. So. Like again, doesn't really matter to me. We gotta clean that out. That's why I'm taking both axles out. We're gonna drop that guy and we're going to stick a piece of wood through there and push our, push a piece of towel through there and really clean it up on both sides. The only reason I'm taking it apart is to clean it. That's it. All right, so we took those four bolts out, got the diff removed. I'll show you guys the diff, There's all the hardware. Diff looks good, which is nice. Looks, looks pretty good to me. Bearings look good. 
So we're just taking it out and we're gonna clean it all, clean the whole diff right now. Try to loosen up all the dirt with like a broomstick or something. And then I'm gonna use the compressor and blow out all the, the dirt. I would have way rather done this outside, but I didn't know that it was dirty until it was too late to move it. Give you guys an idea. I got a shirt stuffed in there. I got this uh, broomstick. I took the broom head off actually. Okay. Push it through right to the end. Take your shirt out for the compressed air head. Spraying it. Just line her up in there, spray it out this way. I made a little shield. Stick right through, give it a few pops. And then you should be able to come over here. And once you get it started, kind of like that. You just set up your little thing. Get the shirt out. This guy back. And then see if it comes out. Nowhere near as bad as it was before. Like it looks so much better. If I show you guys this side, you'll see what I mean. Built up dirt piled on the bottom. Right now it doesn't even look that bad. Once you start scraping it, it gets a lot worse. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, guys. I pushed the shirt through so many times. It looks really good. So much better than before. It's not perfect, but I just don't see any other way to get it out unless I like sprayed it with a hose, but I can't do that in the shop. This was all out of the passenger side. So nuts.